I am Cornhole Leo. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Got a little bit of coffee. Working on the night shift. Oh. Ba baby, oh. they don't need to see uh, the back. Boom. If you guys haven't <clears throat> seen the new packaging, here it is. At worklifecoffee.com. Yeah, we Hit are up. Um, finally drinking coffee again with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute, so I guess I'll hold my mug up. Uh, Which, I'm already... I got that much left in this cup. Yeah, this is already, this is my second pour. Yeah. Um, but. So, oh. I'd say you might hear the door slam on the camper. A uh, chilly this morning. A little bit, it is. Um, just got finished raining. Um, woke up this morning, it was still dark and it was raining. And I was like, oh my gosh, we just need to get stuff done. Please don't rain this whole time. So, uh, we looked it up. It is done for the day, for a couple days. Um, we actually had to change plans a little bit on everything we were doing and helping Paragon and Paragon helping us uh, because of the rain. Mm -hmm. And we were able to knock their stuff out, thankfully, before the rain. And then they came here and helped us knock out everything that we needed before the rain. Uh, you guys saw yesterday and I, i'm just gonna go ahead and predict all of y'all watched it because it had ten thousand views overnight sun let's go. um paragon like, and them have been just killing it yeah again chrissy's genius idea yeah crushing it yeah and uh just again i'll, I'll touch on it briefly i don't think people understand how hard it is to pump videos out uh to work all day and then edit and pump them out and yeah. they've been doing two to three a week as of right now, and when you're trying to, you know, raise a family, that's Rufio drinking water, by the way, if you hear anything, <laughs> when you're trying to raise a family, and do YouTube, and build, and um, and all that, and they're out there, you know, hunting, and just doing all of it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work to do, so, um, mad props to that, uh, we don't have kids or anything, and we're not hunting, we're just, uh, loving life every day or whatever Luke Bryan says. Um, they be hunting and fishing. We just loving life every day. Is that the song? I don't hunting, know. fishing, I and loving every day. Something like that. I don't know. I've literally never heard that song, but at the same time, I feel like that's every country song. Pretty much. Um, I can see right now the ducks are in a row, so today's going to be a good day. Uh, they're all over there <laughs> walking around breakfast. And it's oh, yeah. pretty funny. I think breakfast roots it up, and then they go behind getting all the bugs. I, what it's looking it, like it's right what now. it looks like. Um, but uh, you guys will see later on the Crocker video. Um, we apologize for not doing a video this week already. Um, actually, oh. dental work. I spent a lot longer in there than I expected. Yeah, uh, we didn't. We thought it was going to be kind of a fast appointment, and they <clears throat> once they set. Or came and saw Jason. They're like, "This is gonna be the longest." And I'm like, one. "This is the worst day ever to tell me this." Yeah, <laughs> we ate Taco Bell before this, and I have not pooped yet. You talk about gambling. I don't care how much money you put on the lawn. When you eat Taco Bell and have to go lay in a dentist chair for a couple hours while they're doing a root canal, <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, like after, um, I was like, "Man, that was maybe we didn't think that one through." Mm -hmm. But and then it all worked out. The girl that was the uh, assistant, she was what? What'd she say? Twenty, one. young tw twenty one, and uh, she was very nice. She was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were all great up there. They're very yeah. nice. Uh, they, uh, she was doing some stuff in there, and I didn't hear anything. And she said, "I just want to let you know that was my button. I didn't just." Past wind, and then it did it again. She's like, "Oh my god!" I just figured I'd tell y'all because I didn't want you going home thinking, "Man, she farted right in my face." I was like, "Yeah, you know." As soon as we got in the car, Jason's gonna be like, "Did you hear yeah. that?" <laughs> and I was like, "She's like, um, I was like, oh, maybe I'll rip one now and blame it on you." She said, "You don't want to start that," <laughs> and I said, "Oh well, we ate Taco Bell before this. You don't want to start." <laughs> it was funny. Um, but, uh, but so you were at the dentist for ew, a long time. Longer than expected. And sparks were flying. Literally. Smoke out of my mouth. Uh, I felt like I was in a movie. Like it was like, -ah -ah! it was crazy. I legit thought, like, it's like a scene from a movie is what I was looking at. So what's in there right now is like a complete temporary. Yeah. So they, they like, I have an itty bitty tooth now on that side. Like yeah. they grounded it. Cause they, okay. Originally they asked me, are you sure you want to pull the tooth? Mm -hmm. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And then it, it's more money to replace it. Mm -hmm. 
And we were like, all right, let's keep it. Well, then they ground it down. It looked like a tiny Tic Tac up in there. And I went like this uh, with my tongue. That's, am I missing my tooth? And then she showed me a scan that they did, which is insane. It's crazy. And it was just a little nub on the... And I'm like, y'all didn't even save it. I guess that's technically saving it. I guess. I don't know. But, but it was... I don't know. It was cool to watch. And... uh the whole time the dentist would like tell me what he's doing. Yeah, because you're like watching. Yeah, I'm like, Whoa. it was it was crazy. But yeah, they did a great job. Yeah, they did highly. Um, and I'm very uh, happy with the way it's gone. Well worth the money that we're spending on. It ain't cheap to get a root canal, but um, of all things, we don't have for insurance medical. Or I no, mean medical. Uh, we <laughs> have dental. We have medical. We don't have dental. Yeah, I didn't mean what I said with that. Yeah. I mean, of all insurance, we don't have dental, but I was yeah. thinking medical insurance. But, um, yeah, the only thing we don't have is dental because, realistically, in my family, I never had, we had, I had an uncle that was a dentist and in your family, dentist. So, it's an easy thing for us to take care of, but, um, it happened on the weekend and we had to pay, we had to get in there and do stuff. Not saying we would yeah. try to use family or nothing i'm just saying in general we have family that has done dental yeah. you know so um yeah even after they already started that process we could have yeah asked um some family but it's just so you don't want to you never want to take advantage yeah um, so or just, have someone feel like they're getting taken advantage of so. yeah so we were just like we're just not gonna ask yeah I don't this know. is my just, this is my fault We'll take care of it. Yeah. Um, but uh, thankfully, it was just your um, nurse money and uh, insurance that took care of it. I don't have any, but just kidding. Um, uh, for everyone out there wondering, fun I'd, fact: I don't. We don't have insurance through my job. No, we, we work part time. Technically, I guess it's considered part time. I don't know what it's. I called. guess if you're it's not, part time. Yeah, if you're um, not full time, is anything else considered part time? Yeah. Um, they have different things that they're all called, I don't know. But she basically works part-time, so uh, we pay for her own insurance, and um, I feel very grateful to have it. Uh, I'm the type that I'm just like, risk it, don't need it, whatever. And Danielle's like, it's not just you anymore, Jason. So we we have insurance, and we um, – it's – if you see me doing something stupid in a video, don't worry. We got insurance. We're covered. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, what were we talking about earlier? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, got dental work done for a temporary um, crown. It it looks like a real tooth. It's crazy. Like yeah, I, you it. would never know. You would. Never I didn't even know. I went like this to look in the mirror to see which one. It's crazy. You couldn't even tell. And they made um, it right then and there. Yeah, she was like doing all this stuff, and she's like, "How does that feel?" I'm like, "Not bad." And I was like, she's like, I don't want it to be uncomfortable for a little while. I was like, how long is it going to be in there? She's like, two weeks, something like that. I said, oh, I'm good. She's like, you sure? She pops it out, puts it back in. I said, even better. Yeah. Um, they 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 did very well. I'm very happy um, yeah. with everything. Uh, going through that pain for so long was miserable. Mm -hmm. So miserable. So to finally be rid of it, uh, I feel like I can just relax now. Like, it's cr it truly is just unreal um yeah and then so do the people know if you let dental stuff go longer too there's so many more complications besides bunch of health risks besides pain so yeah it's good yeah so took care of that um we've been doing stuff with the dogs we have i don't know if you can see a fence was that already in a video yeah okay Croc yeah Alive. Croc Alive, if you haven't seen it um working great to an extent um the troublemakers again yes literally only the two that, uh, and, and they're not even, they're not, they are troublemakers because they're the ones not doing what they need to do, <laughs> but, um, luckily they're not bad. No. It's just, they're not doing what we would like, yeah. but we're working on it and, um, thankfully the ground was soft enough we could put the electric fence up. It's not on or anything like that. It's just a, a barrier and, uh, before. Low rider just goes right underneath. Yeah. He didn't even hesitate. Um. <laughs> Before we couldn't even put it in the ground, and it was bending them up and everything. So luckily, doing fencing and uh, putting this up and just doing stuff we're doing, the rain has really helped. The rain hasn't helped with needing to get other stuff done. Um, there's nothing we could do about that in the moment. And then um, I did reach out about building materials. I need to reach out again. 
um, getting it. It's not looking good. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, we are just being tested beyond belief recently with a lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to keep telling myself, it's fine. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's all right. All you can it's do, all right. All you can do is your best in each situation. And yeah. again, whenever you're pushed and pushed and pushed and tested and tested, and this all you can do is your best. So yeah. the result might be jumping around projects to projects. Because again, we're not going to stop here. Mm -mm. Things are going to continue moving. Yeah. We would much rather be building our house, especially before it starts to get too cold. But it looks like that's the direction it's going to be anyway. So. And what Jeremy said yesterday, I think he said next week the dog's are waking up. Yeah. Um, I think he said next week, something like that. It's going to be highs of 30s and lows of 20s for a little bit, I think is yeah. what he said. Um, so, yay. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But, it's just crazy to think um, we're two months from when the pad started. And to think about it, like two months of building, that we could be pretty far on it. We'd be very far on it. Um, it's It's... I really do think everything happens for a reason. I'm, I've been a huge believer in that, um, mm -hmm. good and bad. Uh, for whatever reason, certain things happen. Um, I mean, there's been times that I've legit, this was years back, to where I forgot my wallet. So then I went back in, got my wallet left, and then a car accident literally happened right in front. So what would have happened if I would have left just a few, like 30 seconds earlier? I would have been right in the middle of that. I would have been that much further, you know, whatever. It's just little things like that. Um, my whole life, I've always been like, holy cow. I'm like, dang, what if I wouldn't have forgot my wallet and turned around and went and grabbed my wallet and came back? Mm -hmm. um, just anything like that. I think everything happens for a reason, whether it's good or bad, and uh, whether it's pushing us back or whatever. You could sit there and just complain, 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 or you could just be like, Dodge the bullet, move on. Um, so we do have stuff that we are working on right now, and we do have stuff that we have planned, and if we can get everything for the house, we're going to do that. And if we can't, hey, we'll go a different route. Maybe that didn't pan out the way it was going to pan out for a reason. So mm -hmm. I don't know. That's Just <clears throat> hopefully uh, the charges and stuff like that for the materials. Hopefully we're not out on that. But yeah, that's so a whole, that's a whole different ball game of our life. Um, yeah. We'll deal with that if it comes to that. But uh, I don't know. It's It's been interesting. Um, again, Paragon Ridge Ranch was out here yesterday, and um, we did a lot. Um, and it went way better. And there were moments that I just looked at Jeremy and I said, if y'all weren't here, I don't know if Danielle and I would keep going. Mm -hmm. um, with it right now because um, you get frustrated or stuff happens or you actually a lot of times like if you watch Paragon's video Jeremy couldn't get the the saw through and he's like rah, 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 rah. and then I got it I was like just and real then, easy and then it happened to you and it he's did. like see it did. <laughs> he got lucky um, but um, when you do these projects with friends we put a lot of work into that chicken coop that they're building. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have put hours and hours and hours of grinding and cutting and grinding more and doing other stuff that you guys will be seeing. Um, just even them going and looking at shipping containers. We went one time with them to go look at shipping containers. Mm -hmm. We planned it all out and drew it out. We, we spent all this time, but never not one moment of it have I been like, Ugh. it's you're doing stuff with friends and you're helping friends build their dream and do stuff mm -hmm. and then yesterday we worked for hours and doing stuff and, and it was Chrissy, just man, it was just fun i'm just gonna say, chrissy she a hoss she's probably stronger don't, than, don't say me i picked up way more than she did <laughs> she's strong like dang girl oh you, you guys will see so chrissy jumped in and did a lot mm -hmm. um not saying that she doesn't ever do a lot or anything. Oh, she but, does so much. Um, just <clears throat> when it came to physical labor and stuff, I mean, she jumped right in. She was wanting to learn. She was being the producer. Just, <laughs> you know, she she's, I don't know how many feet she's got, but she got a lot of shoes to, to fill. And um, I don't know, it just felt really good um, knowing that we're getting something done that the thing we hate the most, it wasn't bad. 
it really wasn't bad because we were able to joke around and have fun and get it Even done. Even times during frustration, I would look at Chrissy and be like, Whew. and then she'll make a joke, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> and it just it makes things a lot better, and um, I don't know, we're just very glad, I guess, to have them in our life, and we're very glad that we can help them, they can help us, and again, we've been preaching on this forever, but it's like, to help someone with their dream, and to, to, ha to be a part of it, mm -hmm. and... And they were a part of our, like... That's what I'm saying, like, we... Yeah. To help, I don't mean just strictly me, yeah. but like yesterday with them so here... Let me, let me, yeah, <laughs> I don't mean that. Um, it's just more of like, to help someone else with their dream even down to the fact of just y'all saying holy cow i can't wait till this is done hey don't worry about this not working out hey whatever you're helping us with our dream you're literally a support system and and as y'all know in your own lives support systems are rare it's very rare that people support your dream most people want to dog you most people want to talk down to you most people want to say you're stupid because it's not what they want or what they think or what's smart or whatever um, a support system goes a very long way and it's just like it's it's something that we've talked about in our own life and it's you know we'll we'll wake up early in the morning and um, you know if Danielle's going to work um, you know the first thing we ever say ever and i think every married couple that's older is how'd you sleep because we're just glad if we got good sleep um but it's like all right today go make today your you know what i'm saying b word yeah go make it that mm -hmm. get it today and then it's like if danielle's going to work and she knows i got something big going on today you know we'll we'll try to like you just be that support system, the motivation, the whatever, yeah. you know, you want to call it. And, and just, it goes a long way. Yeah, I'll say with them coming over and helping us, this is just something that, for one, it's just a huge weight off our shoulders oh, to yeah. see, like, for it to be where it's at. It's, it's crazy. We I talked mean, about this from day one. Oh, and it's been, again, it's just something that's needs to be done something on our shoulders the whole time and it's just it's something that we just dread we hate it so much and for someone to come and help with that it's just like it was the best feeling and then yeah. after frustrations of going through it make you laugh through it there's just again just the support system it was it's just such a relief and that, we're very grateful yeah it's it's crazy yeah see yeah. i held that one in i tried to let her talk and yeah i said grateful i couldn't help it um <laughs> good, good job yeah we're very grateful for it and um i don't know it's again we've said it a hundred times at this point but it's if it it's taken us a year to get to this point and we do wish things would have been done faster and we wish everything would be done but I don't know anybody, literally. I don't know not one person that can take raw land and build it up and be done in a year. I don't know anybody that has made insane progress by themselves, not hiring out, but doing stuff themselves in a year. A year goes by fast. And, it really does. And, it really... It, it. I never thought a year would go by this fast. Yeah, it went by <laughs> fast. And then we're getting older. You know, it's harder on our bodies to recover, and we've gone through a lot of stuff, and it's, it's, to have been a year and doing, and where we're at, yes, as you guys can even tell, it's been a year, but for the last two months, we've been paused on our house build. And that has two, nothing to do. We just can't do anything. That has nothing to do. With us. We're, it's out of our control. <laughs> And it's been two months out of the yeah. last year that we couldn't even do anything. We would already have a whole structure dried in, everything. We'd be working on the inside of it. We would be so far ahead, but for the last two months, we can't do anything. And so it's like, when you have stuff like that happen, um, last winter, the um, uh, tractor froze up for like a week. Yeah. We couldn't even use the tractor for like a week. That was my first experience ever with weather like that with the diesel machine and I didn't know what to do. I was never taught what to do. How do I know? I don't. I learned the hard way. Now I know. I know now. 
Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you learn along the way and you have to learn it the hard way. We watch people all the time that are building and doing stuff and you just learn the hard way. I mean, just a, just us working on a shipping container that you think would be fairly simple and straightforward. Who would have thought when you got down to like a little dent that it would bind up your, your saw? It'd go smooth till you hit that and then it's like. You wouldn't th think that. You'd think, oh, it's just the metal. Let's just go through. And then you learn. You have to do certain things. You have to cut it a certain way. You have to use this grinding uh, wheel for this. And then, um, you know, certain types of paint. I mean, just anything you could think of that goes into something that you would think would be very simple, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult to do. Yeah. Same thing with a grain bin. Um, mm -hmm. Good thing for us, we're learning a lot about cutting out doors and windows yeah. and whatever into a metal building um we'll we'll mess up on theirs and then come do it right on ours uh no but it's you don't know until you do it and um there's a lot of stuff that we're doing right now that jeremy has never done that i've never done that chrissy's never d done that danielle's never done but we're all learning together and we're, we're learning these new skills and tips and tricks and stuff and uh it's cool because one of us will figure something out and then the other person will do it. And then it's, I don't know, it just, it builds confidence and it, it uh, opens your eyes up to different ways of doing things and, and getting, you know, creative. It just, um, it it just shows that no matter who it is, like, you still have to learn new skills. It takes a long time. If no one's there to show you how, <coughs> how are you supposed to know? I mean. Just, you just got to get out and do. Yeah. So. I guess if that's something that we could tell anyone is just get out and go do it, whether you know how to do it or not. Whether it comes out right or not, whether you have to redo it ten times or not, who cares? Just get out and and try your hardest. Yeah, and, and just don't stop. Yeah, and if you try your hardest and it's not going how you want, stop and redo it, you know? Neighbors going to work. Um, but the only way I see failure, honestly, is if you just... 100% stop and give up it's not failure whenever you mess up it's not failure whenever it doesn't go the way you want mm -hmm. failure is only if you just stop and give up and I know a lot of people will say well you failed at this property you failed at that property no they just ended up being stepping stones and it ended up being just not right for us I mean I don't know many people that grew up in their childhood home and will die in their childhood home People move out, get a different place to live, go to a different place, go to another place, and they finally find home. And whether that's because of a career change or uh, something happened to your family or whatever it may be, people have their own reasonings to start over or to, to do whatever. But it's as long as you just don't stop and give up, you're not a failure. And, and if people are calling you a failure, it's probably because they just didn't do what they wanted in life. Mm -hmm. And, and they're... They, no one that's successful is going to talk down to somebody else. Um, they got their own stuff going, and they know the struggles, and they're happy with stuff. And the only people that are going to talk down to you are people that aren't happy in their own life. And that's just the truth, and that's just the way it is. Um, if if you're happy in your own life, you're not going to go after somebody else because you know everything that went into it to get where you want to be. And we will forever... Um, forever say if you want something bad enough make it happen we'll forever say go for your dreams go for what you want um keep going no matter what even if it is a stepping stone or or things are going great tell it's not and then it's you just feel lost figure out where you're going maybe you're figuring that place out or you're going somewhere else everything happens for a reason who knows why but everything happens for a reason and just yeah. roll with the punches um and at the end of the day I'm pumped that we're here. I'm excited that we're here. Um, you know, having this property and and seeing all of it turn out the way it's going. And it took us a year to finally get to where we're at. But hey, it's better than if it would have taken two years. You and know? Just a year from now, what it's going to look like. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. And then a year from then, and then a year from then, and a year from then. Mm -hmm. um, no one's on the same timeline, and, and there is no real... Who, who makes the deadline? Right. Who 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 makes the deadline? Who makes the rules? Yeah, the only thing... Like, we are 100% on our own timeline. Yeah. Is And it's because of a job that you, I guess, we, 
have that we <clears throat> can do that, but it, there's no deadline. There's mm -hmm. literally, we don't have to have this done by a certain time. We would like to have we our- We want it done. Yeah, we would like to have our house built and be in to be comfortable, of course. Oh, in an, in an but, ideal situation, we would be sitting inside a house right now. Oh, yeah. And, but we are on our own time, which is like a beautiful thing, which I know you guys just want to see us build and be comfortable and not hurry and get there but that's our only hurry i guess is to try to appease some people on the internet yeah but for the and for our comfort but yeah at the same time again that is such a it's a beautiful thing that this because this truly is a very free life yeah. this is the most free life we are we are not on a schedule we wake up when we want we yeah. do whatever we Which want that is day. like five 5 30 in the morning but we wake if or, up when, if we sleep in yeah we wake up what we want and we take care of our responsibilities and then the rest of it is we decide what we're doing that yeah day. it is very the most free thing and again if it takes us five years to build our house if it that's because it's our schedule we're the ones living <laughs> or not living in it. <laughs> yeah. so, so and again i mean this is land of the free so are we not the example of we live truly the most free life? Yeah. Oh. Living the dream. So, hopefully yeah. you guys have a good day. Um, it is chilly. I, I've got some editing to do so you guys can watch a video later. Um, I think you, we have, we have Crocker Life footage already? Maybe like two seconds. Okay. We'll be doing some Crocker Life. <laughs> and, uh, we'll see. Yeah, doing all that. But, um, hopefully you guys have a great day and, uh, if anything, you get anything out of this, it's just just go after your dream and who, who whoever tells you not to, forget about it. However long it takes, keep going. And uh, objects in motion, stay in motion. That's, that's what right. my dad always told me growing up, and that's such like a broad thing. But then you understand. <clears throat> yeah. Once you stop, you're gonna stop. Yeah. You keep moving. Yeah. You keep moving. Even forward. if it's just the smallest amount of progress, just keep moving mm -hmm. and uh that's that's a real thing right there um it's we've been there done yeah. that where you can let yourself up here mess you up just keep moving keep and moving. and start slow again and you just burn out on one project start, start another one who cares what someone says <laughs> yeah. it ain't their project keep moving yeah just keep, keep moving, moving no matter what it is so um truly appreciate you guys we're gonna get our day going um Hopefully it won't rain anymore. It's not supposed to, but uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, hopefully everything goes smooth. You guys will see a Crocker video later, potentially a Crocker life. And uh, hopefully you're even watching this at this point and it uploaded when we needed it to. So catch you on the next one. Bye.